Hi viewers, welcome to Alama Solution. Today we are going to see about solar PV battery driven electric vehicle by employing transformerless bug bus converter. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification of our upcoming videos. So this is a Simlink model created for a solar PV battery and driven electric vehicle. So this system consists of solar panel. The solar panel rating is around 2000. Right? That means uh, it's around 1830 watts. Okay at 25 degrees celsius and 1000 watts per meter square and single panel rating is 305 watts and open circuit voltage is 44.8 uh, volt the voltage at maximum power point is 35.59 and short circuit current is 8.95 and the maximum power point current is 8.57 so here we are using two series string and then three parallel string okay so it will be generate maximum of 1830 at a standard test condition and then here we are using the transformer transformerless bug boost converter so this is going to be used for extracting the maximum power from the pv panel along with the mppt algorithm so this transformerless bug bus converter can operate in bug mode as well as boost mode according with the, the requirement in the output side okay so this is structure of the transformerless bug bus converter so normally we used bug converter or boost converter in between uh, solar panel and uh, the main dc bus or load side so instead of we are, we are using bug and boost, here we are using bug boost, transformerless bug boost converter. So it having the property of both uh, uh, bug and boost converter. Okay. So this transformerless bug boost converter is controlled by means of MBPT algorithm. So here we are used uh, P and O MBPT. So for P and O MBPT, we are providing uh, PV voltage and current so it will generate the duty cycle so this duty cycle can be processed via pendulum generator and it will generate a pulse right so this pulse will be given to here okay so this will control this a transformer less bug boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV panel okay according with the setting of settings of radiation and temperature and here we are using battery so here we are consider a 4 12 load battery and each battery having rating of 40 h and then it will be connected via a bidirectional converter so bidirectional dc dc converter so this bidirectional dc dc converter controlled by means of the dc bus voltage control that mean we are going to control the dc bus voltage so for that we have to measure the the dc bus voltage it will be compared with the 90 volt so why we are comparing 90 volt so here the bmdc motor going to be act as a electric vehicle motor so the rating of this uh, bmdc motor is 90 volt so that's why we are going to make on the dc bus voltage 90 volt so this uh, the dc bus voltage is going to be compared with the 90 volt and then process via PA controller and it going to be and the PA controller will be generated the duty cycle so that going to be process via pedulum generator so this pedulum generator will generate the pulse for this 2 IGBT in order to control the current flow in this system okay and also it going to be maintain the voltage across this DC bus voltage around 90 volt so here we are connected the PMTC motor so it going to be act as an electric vehicle 
so this motor will be powered from solar pv and battery so is continuously getting power from the either pv or battery so depends upon the the irradiation and temperature condition okay so here we have the measuring system measurement section so here we are measuring the pv voltage current and power so here we are measuring battery voltage battery current and dc bus voltage so here we are measuring speed of the bmt's motor torque and the motor current okay so this is a simpling model explanation for the solar pv battery driven electric vehicle so now we can see the results now i am going to simulate the result so before that i am going to show you the settings of the irradiation so here you can see that uh, from 0 to 5 the irradiation maintained at 1000 watts from 5 to 10 the irradiation will be maintained at 0.5 after 10 to 15 the irradiation will be maintained at uh, 1000 that means 1000 watts per meter square so 1500 1000 watt, watts per meter square so it will be changed according to this timing and also we are going to check the results of PV battery motor and uh, SOC of the battery okay so I am going to simulate this model so now we can see that uh, battery voltage around uh, 70 volt okay and then the so PV voltage is around 70 volt and then PV current is around uh, 25 amps and then we are getting around 1860 watts from the PV power that means it is nothing but the maximum power from the uh, PV at uh, 1000 watts per meter square and 25 degrees Celsius and here you can say that this is the battery voltage that is around uh, 40 or 50 volt and then this is battery current is negative that means battery now charging mode okay and then DC bus voltage is maintained around 90 volt so here you can see that the SOC of the battery is keep on increasing because uh, during the time from 0 to 5 PV um, having excess power so that's why the PV going to be supply the power to the uh, load as well as that means BMDC motor as well as battery so after 5 seconds you can see that the power is changed from 1862 around 950 something okay uh, here you can see that right because of the power reduction in the PV because of irradiation reduction so what will happen the, uh, the battery comes to the charging mode right here you can see that the battery current change from negative to positive so here the battery will be supply the power to the uh, BMDC motor and also we are getting power from the PV also okay so here you can see that the SOC of the battery is decreasing so battery will be supplying the power to the PMDC motor so we will check at 10 seconds now we can see that uh, the, again the irradiation change to uh, 1000 watts per meter square so due to that uh, PV is generating maximum power around 1860 watts so because of that the battery now comes to charging mode right the battery current here you can see that the battery current this comes to negative and then here you can see that the battery SOCs keep on charging and here you can see the speed of the motor is maintained around uh, 1700 rpm so this is a torque of the machine so the torque of the machine is maintained constant the motor current also maintained constant so with, with any and that mean uh, that mean any changes in the PV side so the PMDC motor is always getting power from the either PV or the battery okay so this is the working of solar PV battery driven electric vehicle with employing a transform transformerless bug boost converter thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to our channel and also click the bell, bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye